Well, hello guys, welcome to another video. We are out in a different place today, uh, but on this week's vlog, I've got a woodland, ancient woodland, woodland walk. It's a beautiful, beautiful place. And um, while I was there, I heard a very strange, strange wildlife noise in the distance, which made the place look uh, or feel quite otherworldly. So, I hope you enjoy the vlog. A few different things on today. See you in a bit. Yeah, hi. Morning, welcome to another week, sorry. That is really beautiful as usual. Over and out. Well, a surprising sight and straight into the week. I'd heard that there may be a pair of mandarin ducks in the reserve. And here I spotted, I thought it was a mallard to start with, but actually it's a female mandarin. How cool is that? I'm just gonna walk uh, really, really quietly along here because uh, there's a badger, the badger set just, just down here. I'd love to, uh, I'd love to see him still out, but it's pretty unlikely. It's now about uh, 20 past six, so they'll, they'll have been home for a bit, I would imagine. But you never know, so let's see what we can find. Cheers. Well, no luck today, guys, but uh, the lesson is you need to get up earlier <laughs> or stay out later to catch uh, to catch the badgers but evidence of recent activity the uh, there's lots of tracks around and there's some deer tracks too. Those tracks it's just great you can actually see what's happened rather than actually see when it's happening so that's why I love it when it's a bit muddy because you can uh, you just see who he's been about and what's been about Do the same snails as last time. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five of you. Cool. Oh, the weekend we saw our final lots of swifts congregating and flying it was beautiful to watch feeding on the wing and they're probably wending their way south now for uh, for the winter so uh, definite change appearing all the time here now so there's a little bay here which is where we uh, we spotted an otter a few weeks back um, basically what the otter will do it will uh, corral its, its prey. This one was uh, fishing just in this spot, nipped out on the edge across there. I went around to try and get a better shot, but spooked it. I just got a shot of her swimming away. <laughs> Let's go and have a closer look. love being out let's uh, let's keep wandering around and see what else we can find Here's our three signics still going strong.
Oh yeah, as you can see, it's very wet and very dank, a lot of rain. You can see it on the lake. So unfortunately, with the light and everything else, I don't think we can get much in terms of uh, photographs today. But we've been out and uh, now we've got rain set in for the next couple of hours. So uh, see you in a bit. Maybe we'll get something, maybe we won't. Hello guys, I'm really, really, really looking forward to uh, my walk this morning. I'm going up, up to the top of a hill where there is a line of ancient woodland, which is, uh, there's still pockets. This, this, this one is the biggest in the area. It's, uh, it's almost a forest really. Um, very ancient trees. I've been there before, a few few months back really now, but I'm looking forward to it. But I've got a bit of a steep climb, so I'll bring you back when I get up towards the top. Cheers. Just coming up to the top of this hill now seen a, a great spotted woodpecker and I'll, I'll pan you around and show you where we are this field has now been ploughed so you can see as we pan around you can see the villages down in the valley that's the church one church Further across the valley, you can't quite see it, it's a second church. And then the third one, just here. Down in those in that valley down there is where the lakes are that I get a lot of photographs. As you can see now a lot of the fields have been ploughed. Some of them with grass or hay bags. So onward and upwards. Last few gates. We'll be at the top of the hill and into the woodland. So here's the woodland that I was talking about and uh, hopefully we'll see some, some good stuff. Sometimes it's really quiet this time of year, maybe. But I just want to get the atmosphere, get some, get some photographs. So I'll bring you back when, uh, when we've got something to see. Okay, so uh, I'm at the corner now of this forest and I'm uh, just deciding which way to go. That's the path I always used to take. But they've opened up another path. I'm just uh, just gonna have a look and see. Let's, let's go for it, shall we? Let's go for it. Well, I think this is an old sign. What do you think I should do? Come on, been up here for years. I want to see some wildlife. Every single 
track through here where there's mud you can see and i mentioned it i think earlier on that this is obviously a different place completely but you can see roe deer fallow deer uh, fox and badger tracks um, wouldn't jack did you hear it guys wouldn't jack but wouldn't jack barking yeah that's the bark of a munt jack deer feels uh, sounds really quite ethereal in here So in these woodlands, we have at least four type of deer, maybe five. Um, we have, that was that was the muntjac barking, I, you probably heard it. Uh, we have fallow deer and roe deer too. Uh, a friend of mine has photographed three white roe deer, which must be quite a sight. Plus we've had sightings of white fallow deer. So the white stag, it's not a legend. Uh, it looks like it's absolutely true in these woods. And that muntjac we just heard barking. Plus, we've also got, I've seen a Chinese water deer um, very close to here. And potentially seeker deer as well. So it's, it's a very wide ranging habitat and wide ranging wildlife too. Just emerged out into the clearing in the dead centre of this uh, this forest, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six different routes from here. Some of which, I'm assuming, now <laughs> don't get you shot. It's quite ironic really. There is a sign, I put it up, a sign here saying, no disturbing wildlife, you know, it's a police offence. Which is fine, it's absolutely fine, but there are a lot of signs saying uh, the shooting in progress. <laughs> oh well. I'm assuming it's uh, all authorised and uh, part of keeping wild, some wildlife numbers down, but you know what, I'm not sure. So there's a muntjac in on the path ahead. Um, ah, just dipped off the path. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow quietly and see, uh, see if I can get a few photographs. Yeah, when I saw that Munjack, I actually thought it was moving away from me, but he was moving towards me, so he'd obviously seen me. And uh, he's melted away into these woods. But hey, that was a good sighting. And I think I've got a photo which I'll put up. Hi right, guys, that's me back out of the woods. Uh, fairly good news is that I didn't get shot, uh, despite all the dire warnings in there. But that was beautiful. I'll, I'll put some photos up at the end of the vlog. Uh, it was really, really lovely, lovely wander through that, uh, that really dense woodland. See you later. Cheers.